Well, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the farm. It is January 13th and we are in full swing getting ready for sugar season. I am back here in the woods. I have talked about this for I think the last two, if not three years. I am going to do a gravity line, tap line system on this big sugar bush hill that we have back here in the woods. There's tons of maple trees back here. I don't know if you can see that in the background. Got them all identified with little orange tags and stuff. This is the year we are making it happen. We are gonna do one big gravity collection system down to a vat at the bottom of this hill. Uh, I don't know if the camera's really doing it justice, but there is probably between uh, 60 feet, maybe a fall between where I'm standing in the bottom of this hill over maybe 200 feet. So this is a pretty good steep hill, but we're gonna do a bunch of lines together down to one big collection vat, and I am getting out of the bucket at every tree business. It is absolutely frigid today. It is about 20 degrees, but the wind is whipping. Wind chills are down in the low single digits. Thank goodness in this valley, we're a little bit protected. It's not quite as bad. But we'll show you guys what me and dad have got going so far this morning. So you can see we got our first line installed here. So we use this, this little wire tensioner here. We have our anchor point. And then we go down this tree, this hill. And you can see all of these orange dots. That's identifying all the maple trees. So we're going down, jogging across, working our way all the way down to the bottom there. And what we'll do is we will do little um little jumper lines i don't know if this is all the right terminology but this is what we're using we'll do little jumpers from all of these trees over to a main line that's going down the hill that'll land at a collection vat down at the bottom so we're using some galvanized electric fence wire we've got a quarter mile of it this stuff wasn't too expensive but it's high tensile so we can get a good amount of tension on it because this has to carry the weight of all of those lines and potentially all of the sap that's gonna be inside of those lines. So we got this one here done. There's a second one. I don't know if you can kind of see those orange flags. We got a second one that's picking up about another, I don't know, 10 or 12 trees that is coming over and tying into this one. And then we're gonna get ready to start a third one here, but it's all working down to the same area down at the bottom. Today, we're just working on getting these wires strung, we're not gonna work on um, getting any tubing out today. It's pretty stinking cold. It's gonna be really cold for about the next 10 days, but we wanna be ready because after this cold snap, it looks like it's hitting all across the country, but I think for most people after this cold snap, we are going to be up and running. So we're gonna make sure that we're ready for that. And the other side of our big trail here, that's where we're gonna be working next. Working our way down. And it is so doggone cold. I did not bring the gimbal back with me. So if you're used to watching my videos, this one's gonna be a little bit crazy. <laughs> We're using this orange flag material all up and down our lines because the wire kind of disappears. And one of us will definitely run into it. So we're using that all up and down it. Also in hopes maybe that the deer will see it and they won't come charging through. Woo. We're using this, these little pieces of some pecs that we had to go around the trees. So this, you know, whatever it was, 16 gauge wire doesn't rub because this will move some. We don't want to damage the trees. So we use that at all of our turns, going up and down, try to protect the trees. So we did our next run down the hill. We'll walk back up there in a second. But we're down here at this big cherry tree. This is kind of where we're trying to work all of our other lines to. So this was the home run for those first two lines that we did. They tie together about 40 feet up the hill and there'll be one home run coming to down here where we will have our big collection tote. So we just put a couple of pigtails around right here and that gives us plenty of grip and then we are going to work our way back up the hill using the tube pieces again to protect we're going to wrap that cherry tree and work our way back up the hill 
So now we're just working our way back up the hill. See dad up there ahead of me. He's pulling, whoops, pulling, keeping the tension on it as we work around each pivot point. All right, I gotta help. So we got everything basically in place. We'll have a little tiny bit of wiggle room if we need to adjust the line some, but we're up here to the tensioner. We've got everything we could pull out of it just using some clines and some good old muscle to pull it tight. And then the tensioner comes with this little tool you use and it works just like a come along or a ratchet strap kind of. Another thing we're trying to keep in mind as we're doing this, we need our support cable to be below where we're gonna tap. We'll tap up here. This is just gonna support our main, our main line that's gonna go down to the collection vat. So the taps have to be above the main line. We'll have a little jumper from the tap that will come down and tie into a main line tube that we're gonna use this wire to support. So to make it easy, we decided before we got started, we were gonna try to land this at about waist high everywhere. And then we know that when we're gonna tap, we're gonna tap about chest high everywhere. So it worked. Out, it has worked out pretty well in most places so far. I think we were a little high on one tree so far out of probably 40 or so that we have spanned with our support wire so far. So that has worked out pretty well. Unpaid promotion. These DeWalt 20 volt little pruning shears are the ticket. They are great for getting these paths cleared for honeysuckle. They'll cut this honeysuckle all the way up over an inch, no problem. So we got four pretty good, what I'm gonna call trunk lines coming down the hill. All worked down basically to this same point. So we're gonna call it a day for today. We're both frozen. Uh, we're gonna get back out here tomorrow. We've got one more big one, I think, that we're gonna do back here behind me. There are some really big mature maples back there that we're gonna get tied in. That should probably add another maybe 20 trees, which I think is gonna put us um, around 60 total for back here. So not sure how many taps that's gonna be, but it's gonna be about 60 trees. So we're gonna call that vlog number one. We are really gonna be hitting syrup season hard this year. We are hoping to have the best production that we've ever had with the least amount of work that we've ever put into it. So hope you guys stick along and ride it out with us. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, think about hitting that thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, y'all, we will see you.